right, well, good morning. Actually, it's about um, 11.15 here in Central Oregon, so getting close to the noontime hour. I was on the International Space Station fan club, issfanclub.com website this morning, and I plugged in my um, location, and it looks like there's going to be a very good high angle pass of the space station at about 1840 universal time and uh, that's in about 45 15 minutes from now and I thought what I'll do is drive up to McKenzie Pass which is not too far from where I am I can get up there fairly quick and uh, set up my radio portable and see if we can make a contact with the uh, space station. So this would be the first time that I've hooked my uh, Yezu FT-857 mobile, which you saw in the last few videos, up uh, portable outside the house. I just spent the last uh, 30, 40 minutes making a set of uh, jumper cables for direct power to my battery. And then I'm going to rig my antenna up off the front end of my truck. And um, I'm going to stay up there for a little while and, and try and get two or three passes. And in between the passes, I will hopefully be able to do a little uh, video on my uh, antenna because there's been some questions on that. Quick tour of the D Wright uh, Observatory, which is actually pretty interesting and it's unfortunate that today is overcast and raining um, because the view up here is beautiful but I'll, I'll bring you guys up again and we'll take a look at the view but in the meantime we'll get a quick tour of the D Wright uh, Observatory. Alright guys well we are just passing through 4870 so 4870 feet approaching the D Wright Observatory parking lot and this road actually crosses the Pacific Crest Trail, which is interesting. And we've actually driven a couple of hikers up from Sisters as a resupply and brought them back up onto the trail so they can continue their journey. And they're absolutely fascinating to talk with. So the temperature is staying about the same. It's uh, low 50s and the rain is intermittent. That'll make putting up the antenna a lot of fun but it'll be worth it. Hopefully we'll make a good contact uh, with portable operations with the uh, International Space Station. I like to use this application called Ham Clock on the iPhone and uh, it gives you the local time plus uh, universal time and that's the time frame that the space station and most amateur radio operations are done with. So it's good to have that as a reference. We're about uh, three to four minutes before the pass begins and we're in a great location um, it was a little bit of a hurried setup but everything is up and running the radios on frequencies are set and hopefully we'll have a successful QSO or contact with the International Space Station amateur radio call sign November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra alright guys I have my tracking sheet that I downloaded from ISS.com International Space Station Fan Club great uh, online reference. I've got a couple of passes uh, printed off here. I'm going to probably just stay up here and read a book in between passes and see what we can generate today. Got a good cup of sister's coffee. I'm set. A little bit of food in the back of the truck. So anyway, uh, today is uh, September 18th, 2010. It is coming up on, well, it's 1847 UTC. And um, we have a pretty good high angle pass today. They're going to be about 69 degrees off the horizon at the maximum uh, part of their pass. That'll be at an azimuth of about 130 degrees. Right now it's uh, 5,351 feet here on McKenzie Pass. It is uh, 51 degrees and uh, cold. No real wind to speak of, a little bit of a breeze, but not bad. And of course, uh, typical Oregon, it's overcast and uh, raining. All right, let's see if we can get this. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X-Ray Portable.
All right, there we are. We are at the D. Wright Observatory, Willamette National Forest, McKenzie Pass, about 5,300 feet on a nice rainy Oregon day. All right, so this is the DeWright uh, Observatory. We're gonna go up inside there and get a sense of what that little opening is all about. Okay guys, so up on the top of the observatory is a big brass plaque that has all the mountain peaks, the compass directions, and the heights of the mountains and you just basically line up and look off into the horizon and you'll see the mountains. Now you'll see this is a huge volcanic flow that basically spreads as far as you can see and the Pacific Crest Trail actually passes right over in that direction. Okay, now in here it's very cool. There are tons of little windows and portals. Let's take a look at these two right here. Now, if you look through this one, you'll see Mount Hood, and this one right over here, you'll see Mount Jefferson. Unfortunately, today it's too overcast, but we'll come back on another day. Now the neat thing is they've got some great interpretive trails that go out into the lava field that you can take a look at and see the different types of lava that are represented here as well as the direction of the flow and it actually is a pretty sharp demarcation right on the edge right over there and then there's just forest beyond that. Okay guys, well there's my truck and in the front of the truck you'll notice my antenna that I had set up for the space station today. No luck, of course, but we'll try it again on another day. Welcome aboard. This is Colonel Doug Wheelock aboard the International Space Station. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, portable, McKinsey Pass, 5,300 feet. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, 